Okay, we're talking about the message that voters sent to America and to our government on Election Day in early November. We're giving you an opportunity to tell us what you think and what you thought about the results. You can email me at lynn at lindoyle.net. We're going to talk about the future now and what that means. But first, I do want to go back to that one race that really caught a lot of people's attention all over the country. It was a congressional race, but the interesting part about it was that it pitted a, a former NFL player, actually he was an Eagles player, John Runyon, against an incumbent legislator John Adler who had served in the state legislature for many years in um, in New Jersey well the football player won and I'm just wondering what this means uh, whether people are the, the voters are really looking for that much of a change well yeah but I think you know I think it's a district I mean if you look back at the district the district's a Republican district uh, you know John Adler won in a good year and and he lost in a bad year um, two very different candidates uh, I'm not sure it says a lot more than that, but uh, you know, John Runyon is a very credible and he's going to be an interesting uh, player uh, in Congress. Mr. Runyon goes to D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to be watching that playbook very, very, very closely. America loves football. <laughs> they should. Right. America, and listen, we love our football. If an actor can become president, maybe the football so player is you know, on his way now. We'll see. But speaking about being on our way, wh where do we go from here? I mean, the the voters have spoken now, but let's let's put aside party politics and and see if from a bipartisan perspective, we can say, what do we need to do to get this country back in the right direction, get rid of some of that anger and that, you know, that, that disillusionment that Americans seem to be feeling? We're in we're in election cycle right now to to you know 2012. 2012. That's where we're at right now. Well, aren't we always going to be in an election no, cycle? I not, mean, no, not <laughs> more me, important yes. than this for for either party. If you're a congressional or a Senate watcher, those are important to you. If you are both parties, the prize is the White House. And as you move forward to 2012, it's interesting to see the tactics. Does the president? fight with the Republicans, so the Republicans fight with him. That is not what the country wants. Are you they telling want them me to work together. that the political stuff is going to continue because everybody was just really I'm getting a, excited I'm about having a break. So. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> How do you guys We're feel about that? Flow. We're going with the flow. No, this is going to continue now, of more of this rhetoric and this aggression? Well, well I th look, I, th I, th I, th I think we've seen it, we've seen it in, in part. We've seen this, we saw this in 1994 uh, um, we, we, with the Contract America, Republican uh, then won uh, 34 seats, 61 seats this time, by the way. Yeah. Um, so it's historic. Uh, but we saw that uh, Bill Clinton moved, uh, that was his famous word, triangulation, to try to, to, to move and adopt and move to the center. I think it's going to be more difficult for Obama to do that. He certainly set parameters further out to the extreme, in my opinion, than, than what, what Clinton did. So it's going to be difficult. And it certainly does, as you play to going to, toward 2012, it, it, um, it's going to be difficult for them to come together on some major issues, even though they all see that that's really where uh, the, the center wants to, uh, to travel. Well, that's what I was going to say there, Tara. I mean, aren't both parties risking, um, like, kind of alienating their bases if, if they don't find a way to the middle and find a way to be bipartisan? Because everybody's like saying, okay, we, we're done with this now. Let's do something different. No, I agree. I think that both parties should aim to be more bipartisan, to work together. I mean, we have some really serious challenges facing this country, and we really need our government to be to work together to solve some of these very challenging questions. But here's the issue. I mean, you have Speaker Boehner, who's already talking about investigating the Obama administration. Again, I thought that the economy was the number one priority, and he's talking about launching investigations. Into what? I'm not exactly sure, but that's not a road towards bipartisanship. If, if you're looking for bipartisanship coming up, I think you're going to be sorely mistaken and saddened. I mean, Republicans have talked about pulling up uh, health care by the roots. The Democrats are saying, we're going to fight you. Mm -hmm. Look, you're, you're, you're not, bipartisanship does not win you elections. Let's Absolutely. be honest with each other. Um, I think at the margins, you're going to have these fights. But I think on the whole, we're going to have to come. I think Obama's already said he's going to back off on the tax cap right. uh, to maybe to a million dollars, not to, not to 250. <laughs> um, well, those are places he needs to be. Exactly. Okay. I mean, exactly. He's going to have to reach over a little bit more. Even and I hear what Tara's saying. This person said that. So what about the president? They talked about George Bush. Get over it. You got to get over it and move to the next thing. Obama needs to reach across, talk to those folks he has issues with, sit down on a one to one, say and do what they need to do, then come out and do what they have to do, the right thing. I, I'm I'm more than happy to get over it. But if you're going to say you're investigating someone, you want to break them, your single most important yeah, goal think, think is to is to stop is to make sure they don't get reelected at a time when the president has 
extended the olive branch by, by virtue of making willing well, to compromise well, we'll on the Bush we'll tax cuts. We'll see, we'll that see was whether, an extension of the okay. olive branch. So if you if that's we'll see met whether he, with, we'll see, see we'll see whether he really has. Exactly. I mean, he said he was doing there are that. Democratic bills, you know, there are the Democratic bills in the Senate see, to do well, that. The debate continues. Let's see what happens. Let's hope it means good things. All right, Tara Daldell and Tony Bell Wiedemann, great to have both of you back with us. And of course, Renee Moore and Brad Brewster, wonderful to have you here as well. If you want to tell us what you think, email me right now at lynn at lynndoyle.net. Good to see you. Bye-bye.